Hola York, me amo Sean, and welcome back to episode 4 of York TV. We're back to fill you in on everything you have missed and everything coming up in the next few weeks. Firstly, from December 7th until the winter break, York's Student Life Committee is bringing a new lunch plan called Friday Faves. You will vote on your favorite lunches, and the top three lunches will be made by Chef John and the rest of the crew at York Cafe. The poll will close Monday, t November 26th, so get voting, York. What do you think, Griffin? Uh... Hey York, I'm Simon, one of your school chairs. Today, I'm filling in for Griffin while he's away for a senior boys basketball tournament at Ridley College. More on that later. Speaking of basketball, right now, as we speak, York is hosting the Case Senior Girls Basketball Tournament right here at the Gladiator Gym. Wow, what an exciting event, Sean. If only there was someone who was actually really athletic and in the loop on Gladiator Athletics to tell us more about this week's Case Tournament. Well, thanks for calling me unathletic, Simon. But there is in fact someone who can tell us all about this tournament. Her name's Caroline, our sports coordinator. Hello there, York. My name is Caroline, your athletics coordinator. And this week is so exciting for me as a dedicated athletics enthusiast. As you've already heard, York is hosting the case tournament for senior girls basketball. And I thought of no better way to prepare for this than by speaking to the senior girls representing York this week and maybe the girls from some of the other visiting teams. Let's go! Hi, I'm Caroline and welcome to sport. I'm here with two of the basketball team's star athletes, Charlotte McKay and Lizzie Schultz. First of all, girls, I would just like to say, amazing game. Can you tell me how it went from your perspectives? That is so good. High fives all around. I love that for you both. So, did either of you guys score? She got like all of them? Nope. She got all of them. So, um, first, I would like... Yeah, she got a whole, whole, whole half point. point. That's so impressive. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, that sounded sarcastic, but I actually mean it, because I can't, I mean, I can play sports and I'm great. <laughs> so, uh, first, Charlotte, question for you. How did it feel emotionally when you scored your points? Like, how did it... I, just, what did I it? felt like a lot of you were surprised. <laughs> yeah. so, I like I was running, running through your veins. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay. And Lizzie, I was just wondering, for you being out there on a team surrounded by your your family, some might say, yeah, really. how do you use those skills you earn as a player in school? <laughs> so I'm here with what school are you guys from? Elmwood. Elmwood. And where is that? Ottawa. Ottawa. That's so fun. How was the ride up here? It was good. We had yeah. to train. Uh, how long was it? Four, Four hours. hours. And do you guys think you can beat York? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know how to answer that. Um, okay, well, thank you. I guess we got one. <laughs> anyway, um, so final question. How do you guys think the rest of the case tournament is going to go? Uh, oh, are you guys superstitious? We can't say and then uh, we have a surprise activity for you guys to play. So I'm going to need you to... Yeah, shove it in your mouth, girl. <laughs> shove it in your mouth. So, surprise activity. I, like, I don't know if you can tell. I'm wearing the jersey, but I'm not actually on the basketball. Lizzie's jersey. <laughs> but I am not, sadly, a part of the senior girls basketball team, as much as I love them. But I was wondering, would it be possible if I could just play a game of catch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Girls. Okay, so you can start. And you can bounce it, do whatever you want. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so ready. Wow, what an exciting time to be a gladiator. Here's for our senior girls cleaning up at this tournament. And also, for the rest of you gladiators, Mr. D, the team, and I would like to see the gym filled with all you guys cheering the girls as they play. Go Glad! Woo! <sighs> Sorry, this is all just getting, I'm getting very excited. But for now, let's send it over to our weatherman, Dylan, and his little sidekick co-host, Michael. Hey, your school. Dylan and I are out here today braving the elements to give you a first-hand look at the weather. And let me tell you, it is cold. Isn't that right, Dylan? 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 While well, York School, it appears it's so cold that Dylan has frozen. Let's head back inside to warm up. Sorry about that. Here's the weather forecast for Toronto for a warmer week of November 26, 2018. 
Monday will be cloudy with a high of 8 and a low of 1. Tuesday will bring breezy, intermittent snowfall and a high of 5. Watch out for a low of 0 and periods of snowfall throughout the day on Wednesday. Do you hear that? We're back above 0, folks. That means we're entering the worst season for all. Yikes, that won't be fun. Get your boots out and get ready for some wet socks. Thursday and Friday will be cloudy with lows of negative one and two respectively. Watch out for scattered flurries and a chance of frostbite. Wear gloves and tubes if you don't want your fingers, ears, and toes to freeze off. And I'll be carrying my hand on this all day. The weekend will bring lows around negative two and scattered flurries throughout. Well, York, that's all the time we have for this week. We'll see you next week. If there is a next week. Don't worry, Dylan. We'll survive. We have some really good meteorologists keeping us up to date on the weather. Right, right. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's just send you over to Helen and Annie with the middle school news. <clears throat> hey, middle school. I'm Helen. And I'm Annie. Welcome back to your middle school news segment here on York TV. Last week was the middle school's fourth annual Tunes for Toonies challenge. Congrats to 87A for coming first. But the real star of the show was 8A, the third place winners, who tied with 7B. Anyways, the middle school has been super busy lately. Oh wait, no we haven't. There's really not much going on. So middle school, we want to hear about you. If you have an awesome story or a huge accomplishment you want us to talk about in a future York TV episode, let us know. This is your show and we look forward to highlighting the awesome things going on in the middle school. Speaking of awesome things, this Friday, our sixth grade design classes will be going out to launch their bottle rockets. It's gonna be pretty cool. Good luck. Now let's go back to Griffin. No wait, Simon and Sean. See ya, middle school. Whoosh. Thanks, gals. You know, some days I wish I was a grade eight girl. Anyways, to all those celebrating American Thanksgiving this weekend, gobble gobble. I love me some turkey in my belly. Oh, Simon, you are the life of York. Why can't Griffin be away every week? I'm joking. If anyone asks, I never said that. Anyways, York, that's all the time we have for this week. And hey, remember, York, stay safe, study hard, and don't eat romaine lettuce. <laughs> <laughs>